In this video, we're gonna see whether the Leica Q2 is any good for portraiture. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another portrait behind the scenes video. In this video, a couple of you guys have emailed me to ask whether the Q2 is any good for shooting portraits. So on the weekend, I attended another Instagram meetup hosted by Cardiff Shooters uh, in association with Camera Center UK in Cardiff. And I thought I'd take along the Leica Q2 with me and shoot a bunch of portraits with it and uh, give you my thoughts on whether this camera is any good for shooting portraits. So some of you might have seen my previous videos with the Leica Q2 and will be aware of its specs, but for those of you that don't know anything about the camera, I'll just run through a few key specifications uh, with you now. So the Leica Q2 is a 47.3 megapixel full frame camera sporting a 28mm f1.7 summer luxe lens. It's able to shoot 10 frames a second mechanical as well as 20 frames a second electronic. It has an ISO range of 50 to 50,000 and it has a 225 contrast detect AF system. Uh, it also has optical image stabilization, it takes a UHS-2 card and you're able to digi uh, digitally zoom to 35mm, 50mm and 75mm respectively. And uh, that all comes in a quite compact little body for a price of around £4,300 at the time this video has been filmed. All right, so now you know a little bit of information about the camera, let's crack on with my thoughts of the Leica Q2 uh, when I was shooting portraits with it uh, on the weekend. Now I'm gonna lace in some behind the scenes footage as well as some images that I shot on the Leica Q2. Um, and I will start with what I liked about the camera for shooting portraits. So the first thing I really liked about this camera when I was using it to take portraits was just how sharp and how much resolution those RAW files that came out of the Leica Q2 gave me. Even when I was cropping down to uh, 50mm and 75mm testing out those features which I'll talk about a bit later on, they still gave me incredibly sharp detailed images uh, even wide open at f1.7. So the big pro of this camera is the image quality. It produces some fantastic looking images. So the second thing I liked about this camera for shooting portraits was it had very fast and very reliable autofocus. It does have face detect as well as uh, in manual focus. It has uh, focus magnifying and focus peaking. Both are quite useful tools. But for the most part, I left it on autofocus with face detect on. And again, shooting wide open, it was absolutely perfect in 99% of the cases that I used it, apart from when I accidentally knocked the focus ring into macro. I couldn't understand why it wasn't focusing for a little bit. Um, it's very easy to knock that ring into macro. Um, so if you ever have issues with it focusing, just double check that you're not in macro mode. So the third thing I like about the Leica Q2 for shooting portraits is the ability to crop. Because you're quite limited at 28mm, being able to crop into 35mm, 50mm or even 75mm is a very useful feature. However, you have to be aware that when you do so, you are reducing the amount of megapixels uh, that are available to you. So. At 35 mil, you're only getting a 30 megapixel file. At 50 mil, you're only getting a 14.7 megapixel file. And when you zoom all the way into 75 mil, you're only getting a 6.6 .6 megapixel file. Um, if you're posting just to things like Instagram, it's not too much of a big deal. Uh, however, if you wanted to shoot something at 75 mil on the Q2 and you wanted to blow it up big, then you're gonna run into a few issues there. But being a 47 uh, megapixel sensor, I do like the ability to uh, crop quite heavily in post, especially when I'm shooting portraits. The final thing I liked about this camera uh, for shooting portraits is the lens. It is a fast uh, 28 mil prime with a wide ap widest aperture of f1.7, meaning even at 28 mil, it is possible to get 
a good amount of background separation and background blur, which I really like to do to help pop my subject off that background. Um, also, having an f1.7 lens, it means you're able to shoot in low light conditions without having to ramp the ISO up. Although the ISO range on this camera is fairly good and the noise performance is pretty good, having that f1.7 lens is very useful. And even at f1.7, I was getting tack sharp images uh, using the awesome autofocus system the Q2 has. So this leads me on to a few of the drawbacks of using the Q2 for shooting portraits. And the first drawback for me was the lens. The fact that it's a fixed 28 mm uh, lens means it's fine for environmental style portraits where you wanna get a lot of the background in, maybe you're shooting full length and you wanna include a lot of the scene, it's, it's fantastic. But it's not ideal when you wanna get uh, tighter crops or headshots as you're either gonna have to use the digital zoom, meaning you're gonna reduce the amount of resolu uh, resolution available to you, or you're gonna have to get a lot closer to your subject and risk uh, distortion, especially if you're shooting at 28 mil, uh, doing a headshot is quite easy to distort uh, your subject's facial features. Uh, and that's the second downside for me using this camera is it is quite possible to get distortion in your images, uh, especially when you're shooting things like headshots. The main drawback for me using the Q2 for portraits is the price. So at £4,300, it is a very expensive piece of kit uh, for its limited portrait capabilities. I think re in reality, this camera is more suited for street photography or landscape photography, architectural shots, things like that. So my overall thoughts of the Leica Q2 for shooting portraits is yes, it is a great camera. I already knew that from the videos I've shot with it previously. It produces fantastically sharp and detailed images straight out of camera. Uh, the autofocus is great and uh, that the lens is really, really nice. However, it is limiting. Having only 28 mil to work with means uh, if you want to get those tighter shots, tighter cropped head shots or three quarter length images, you are going to eat into that resolution and um, you're not going to be able to compress the background as much. Although the f1.7 lens does allow you to get some background separation and some nice bokeh, you do uh, suffer from a lack of compression with that background as well, if that's the style of portrait that you like. Also, the main drawback for me on with this camera for shooting portraits is the price. At £4,300, uh, I could buy an a7 III with a 24-70 f2.8 G Master and possibly another lens, which would give me a lot more versatility and um, yeah, more bang for my buck. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this little video and I hope that answers some of your questions about whether the Leica Q2 is a good portrait photography camera. Uh, thanks very much to Cardiff Shooters and the Camera Center UK for putting on a cool event and to all the models that agreed to be in the video. And thank you guys for watching. I will uh, see you on the next one.